Oh, he's getting ready to go to school. Oh. Hey guys, how are you doing today? My name's Denise and I'm here to tell you a bedtime story. So I think some of you guys haven't gone to school in a while. So I wanted to remember what it was like going to school. So I really wanted to read The Pout Pout Fish Goes to School. Look at that face. Oh my goodness. Let's see what it's about. Go ahead and go grab your stuffed animals. I got Mark right here. I'm gonna give him a big old hug. Oh, thanks Mark. Give everybody a hey. All right, let's do it. This is called Pout Pout Fish Goes to School. I miss school so much. A long time ago, when Mr. Fish was very small, he headed off to school for the first time of all. With a smooch from his parents and excited for his day, Mr. Fish rushed in, then he lost his way. The big fish around him knew exactly where to go, finding lockers, finding classes, in a fast, smart flow. Mr. Fish, left behind with his grin sinking thin, finally stopped at a doorway and he shyly looked in. Oh, I remember the first day of school was always so scary. The class was doing writing and most everybody knew it. So he tried to print his name, but he just couldn't do it. Writing is super tough. So he flub flub frowned making blub blub bubbles. Then he plopped down his pencil and he counted off his troubles. Trouble one, I'm not smart. Trouble two, I'll never get it. Trouble three, I don't belong. So four, I should forget it. Oh, that's not what we do, pout pout fish. What are you doing? He floated with a frown down the long corridor. Then he sneak up he sneak peeked a look through another room door. The class was drawing shapes, and most everybody knew it, so he tried to make a rhombus, but he just couldn't do it. Learning shapes is super tough too. So he flub flub frowned, making blub blub bubbles. Then he plopped down his pencil and he counted off his troubles. Trouble one, I am not smart. Trouble two, I'll never get it. Trouble three, I don't belong. So four, I should forget it. What? He drifted down the hallway with a doubt, doubt face till he spied another doorway. Maybe this was his place. The class was doing math and most everybody knew it. So he tried long division, but he just couldn't do it. Oh. I know math was not a strong subject for me. 
that was me all the time. So he flub, flub, frowned, making blub, blub bubbles. Then he plopped down his pencil and he counted off his troubles. Trouble one, I am not smart. Trouble two, I'll never get it. Trouble three, I don't belong. So four. Forget it. He rushed toward the exit. That's enough, I say. School is way too tough and I'm not going to stay. Then a soft, kind voice said, don't you fret? You don't have to know things you haven't learned yet. Your classroom awaits. I'm your teacher, Miss Hewitt. I'm here to help you learn and I know you can do it. You're a fish who is smart. With practice, you will get it. Young fish, you belong. Don't you ever forget it. The student and the teacher swam a splish splash swish to a door with a sign marked brand new fish. Oh, teachers are awesome. Miss Hewitt said, good morning. I'm excited you're all here. Together we will have a spectacular year. Fact one, you are smart. Fact two, you can get it. Fact three, you belong. So four, don't forget it. The class got to work and Miss Hewitt helped them through it. They listened, then they tried, and everyone could do it. Oh yeah, and now we're talking. Mr. Fish gave a grin. Goodbye, blub bubbles. No more doubt, doubt, worry. No more flub, flub troubles. He swam with his class, Miss Hewitt by his side, as the students and their teacher said with confidence and pride, Look at that nice drawing that he did. Fact one, we are smart. Fact two, we can get it. Fact three, we belong. And four, We won't forget it. And now he's at his reunion where they're all grown up. I love that book so much because everyone belongs and everyone, if you try, can do things that they didn't think that they can do. Well, I miss school so much. I don't know about you guys, but that was a great book. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great night's sleep and I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to give Mark one more big hug. Thanks, Mark. Say bye. Bye, guys.